So now that we have some animation going on of just Electra uh, standing up and we've kind of moved her keys around to use the play blocking uh, just so it's taking a little bit longer, now we can start taking a look at animation layers. And to get to them, uh, I already have one set up here, but if I close this down, it's the same thing that we did for the selection sets where you can just use this little plus button, new pane type, go to animation, animation layers, and you have it here. And one thing I generally do is um, I will actually take this and tear off a paint tab copy. So I just have a floating window of this because now I can just close this all over and have more screen space. I already have my selection set set up here and uh, now I can start taking a look at my animation layers. And by default, there's a few settings on here. So uh, the default layer type is additive, but you can switch it to override if you prefer that. And uh, to use it, it's very, very simple. So since uh, I already have my selection set set up, I can do it to help speed up some things here. So if I wanted to just start adding some animation over top of this uh, that I have, I can select electric block. And then just by using this, I can create a layer from selected controls and I can just call this adjust or whatever you want to rename it. You can also color code it if you wanted to, just to uh, be able to spot them easier for what you're doing. You can see it says additive and I have my weight uh, channel on there. So now with this uh, done, I know that I can pin my electro block and now everything I do on this layer, uh, I know I'll be able to key uh, easily. So say I was in here, this area, what we can do is just um, set a key on there. And if then if I'm good with her standing up at frame 80, I can set a key there. And what this will do is you can see here that the values are just zeros. So that means just at zero, like it's just going to be the exact same animation that I have underneath there. So if I wanted to go in here and I wanted to change some of this animation, um, what I can do is I could just grab a control. I could start adjusting my animation as I need to. Maybe maybe we can have her look over. Um, maybe just change uh, her pose a little bit. And when I hit gain on there now, now you can see my channels are going from zero. Then it's going into my adjustment and going from there. And it's all additive. And if we want to make sure what's in this channel, we also have in the settings, you can show the layer membership. And in here, we'll show you all the controls that are part of that layer. So I'll just take this off. And you can also in your settings decide what you want to show in here. So if you don't want to see the lock column, you can turn that all off uh, just to minimize things a little bit more. And so now I have my animation. She looks over. And then she goes back to her original spot there. So it's really quickly uh, to be able to, just with a few keys, adjust your animation and change your animation uh, very quickly. And I use animation layers for a bunch of different things. Some of the things I'll use is for facial. If I had facial on here, I may have a layer just for the facial, just to clean up. So I have my body motion and then I have my um, facial on a separate layer. Maybe I'll put fingers on there where I have a lot more keys. There's a lot more contact, same with feet. Maybe I'll put those all, all that detail on a separate layer. So uh, from here, and you can just keep on going on, you can duplicate these layers as well. So if you want to du duplicate this layer and then try something different. So if I want to go on here with this layer now, um, what I can do is I can uh, just grab this if I want to make her be a little bit more up and everything's additive on there. So with the duplicate, it just doubled up my animation a little bit. Um, so we can turn that off and now we, now we can have something slightly different as well. And you can just mute these as needed. So you can always go back and start changing things and just seeing how it is. And that's the great thing about it because it's non-destructive. You can go in there and you could try different things really quickly just to see if they're working. So it opens up more playing, more exploration of what your animation will be doing. So I'm just going to um, mute both of these and you can lock them too. Once you have something, if you lock it, then um, you won't be able to change that uh, layer anymore. Just to make sure that you don't uh, make a mistake on being on the layer that you don't want to be on. So if we go back here, we can take a look at a few more things. Um, and one of them will be our new mirror tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to grab Electra, uh, her setup here. I'm going to use the alt drag method uh, to copy everything. Let it go. I'm going to change the name to uh, metal. And what I'm going to do is in uh, Electra here, I'm going to go into our parameters. I'm going to change it to be metallic. 
And again, all we have to do, if I wanted to add it in here, I can just bring it over here and we can now just go this one in here, this one in here, and now we have a metal electra added to our shot. So uh, we also have um, the ability to copy and paste controls to one another. So I'm just going to select Electra, put a key at one since I shifted all that stuff before. And um, what I'm going to do now is just copy and paste uh, some animation. So I could select uh, all of Electra here and I can either do it. You can see we have a new character, uh, new controls in here called uh, Metal. But I can select Electra if I want to drag it or select it from here. I can use Control C. Um, or if you right click on it, you can see copy selection and then I can select the metal Electra and control V um, Or you could paste uh, the world transforms uh, on there and now you can see I have her uh, Posed in there. So if I turn off the other Electra now, we just have the metal Electra sitting in the chair So it's really quickly and uh, <clears throat> being able to do it and it's only for a pose of course So if we take a look at this um, it will only be with uh, Electra's uh, controls in here uh, for the one pose. It's not copying the animation across there. Now the other thing that we can do here is let's just do the same thing. We're just going to copy. We're going to put another chair in here. And so I could do the same thing here where I just uh, have all the chair here. I'm going to use control C, control V to paste it this time. I'm going to hook up the orange to the orange and uh, insert this in here. And now we have another chair that's been put in there uh, that we want. And so if I take a look at this chair, I can go in here and I can select this, control C, do this one, control V. Now we have that chair um, added in there. Sorry, I had a pin on there. So that's uh, what was going in there. So if we go here and I select my curves, control C, select this uh, control, control V. Now we have our uh, extra chair there that we want. So I'm just going to turn off uh, the uh, original lecture in the chair and then have the metal lecture in chair one here. And what I could do is just select these um, in here. And if I right click on it, what I could do is uh, you can see we have a mirror with plane or shift M. So I could do this and now we have a mirror um, for those uh, two uh, for the chair and Electra. And if I open up control G in here, we can see we have some mirror settings on this. So if I was to rotate this around, you can see that the electric heads a little bit backwards, but if we just switch it to X, flip axis uh, to X, now we can have that in there. And if we wanted to, we can take the chair and rotate that around and move it out here as well. Nothing happens. Uh, we can see just the outline of what's going on there, uh, but nothing's actually going to be happening until we hit enter. And now we have that uh, Electra in the chair posed there, and we have our leather, other Electra here. We have the one that's just, because we just uh, copied that uh, one pose in there. Uh, so we just have the animation on there. So it's a, it's a quick way to start uh, mirroring and being able to rotate and reposition things if you want. I don't use the mirrors, uh, mirroring too much. Um, so yeah, it would be great uh, for people that do uh, use mirroring in their workflow uh, to be testing it out and uh, letting us know how it's all going if we're uh, missing any features that could be in there. So uh, from there, we're going to move on and start taking a look at a few other things in here.